I'm gonna be ranking my top nine Demon Slayer men on how attractive I find them. Disclaimer, even if they're at the bottom, I'd still let them. I'm sorry, starting off at the bottom. Rengoku. I would put him higher. He's already pretty high up right now, so we're just gonna leave him there. Number eight, Doma, because he ate. Sorry. Number seven, Muzan. I'm sure he's off to like seven of my favorite characters, but all of their budget must have gone to this guy because that man is. Okay, so number six. Eight. Number six is Obanai. That's more accurate, actually. Um, he's six inches shorter than me, so he goes at six. It's always the short ones. Number five. Uzui. He made it past 25 and him with his hair down. Bonus points. All right. Four. Akasa. I know he has like, he's blue like a smurf, but um, I cried over his backstory for four hours last night and he's really fine, so he's going up there. Number three. This is when we get serious. Giyu. I know he's kind of a downer, but I'm, I'm so down bad. Number two is Sonami. Season four, episode four to be specific. Time frame, 10 minutes and 11 seconds. I didn't memorize it. And number one is Sonami in general for two, two reasons specifically, um, his, his personality and character development. Thank you. It's just me being pissed as we as the amusement park gets nuked. <laughs> it's so funny.
death of me All is fair in love and war But I can't fight with you anymore This will be the death of me If you wrote, if you wrote, if you wrote vapes in here on the outside of a wishing well and you came there at night with a flashlight and looked down in there, I'd be in there.
Just keep wondering why they're putting us in different trains. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Como se dice, what the fuck is?